early start in Lexington, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Wildcats led by 17 at one point. Tyrese Maxey driving left. Cats still in control. Maxey had 21. But here come the balls. Eve Pons Ooh. knocking down the jumper. The comeback begins. Then Josiah Jordan James. Triple J with a triple. <laughs> and then Pons again. He's set up. Nice lefty stroke. That puts Tennessee up by three. Two minutes to go. John Fulkerson's shot won't go. There's Pons on the offensive glass. Tennessee rallies to beat number six Kentucky. Coach Cal had some thoughts after the game. You have a 17-point lead as a coach. You should win the game. Come on. Um, we got manhandled. I got manhandled. It was uh, this is one that you know. I know I got to watch the tape. I'm not going to look forward to watching this tape, but you got to watch the tape. All right, let's go to number nine, Maryland. Take nine, Rutgers. Under five left in the half. Rutgers up by three. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Theo Baker putting one up, and nearly the center low goes to Rutgers up 35-29 at the half. Then, here Maryland in transition. Ron Harper Jr. draining that baby, getting the crowd into it. Rutgers up 13. And then, just over six minutes left. Jacob Young finds Mathis cutting along the baseline. He throws down that mean one-handed dunk. Woo! Ruggers with the win, 78 to 67. Keep it in the Big Ten. Number 16, Michigan State in State College. Take it on number 20, Penn State. Cassius Winston dribbling and then attacking. Ooh. Gets the floater to go. After the play, Tom Izzo and Winston barking at each other. Here's what Izzo had to say later post game. I was mad at Cassius, and he was mad at me. You know, being mad is, is sometimes what it takes to get people to play to a different level. Showed his true colors, man, that's why I love him. So I think I'll go hug and kiss him, see if someone puts that on camera, and we'll call it a day. Sometimes mad is good. Then Winston driving and again gets a roll. 14 points. Michigan State wins. Spartans heating up. Penn State has dropped four of its last five. Always great to talk college hoops with our Seth Greenberg. Seth, Michigan State was the preseason number one, but fell out of the rankings entirely at one point after dealing with significant injuries. They've now won five of their past six with four wins against ranked teams in that span. What is the ceiling for this team come tournament time? In this moment in time against this field, they can win a national championship. And I say that because if you think and you look at their team, all right, you know what Cassius Winston's going to do, all right? He's going to own the tempo and the rhythm of the game. You know what Xavier Tillman's going to do. He's an absolute incredible defender, runs the floor, gets to the offensive glass. What they've been missing is complimentary players. Well, Aaron Henry and Rocket Watts over the last four wins, they're averaging 14 points a game. They're defending, they're rebounding. The job that Rocket Watts did on Anthony Cowan last weekend at Maryland was absolutely incredible. Aaron Henry, he can get to the rack, he rebounds the ball, he has toughness. All of a sudden, they've got Batman and Robin. Obviously, that's Cassius Winston, Xavier Tillman. Now, Alfred the Butler and the rest of the crew have showed up. I look at Michigan State as a team that can win a national championship. Yes, yeah, you see, Michigan State is starting to gather the momentum at the right time. Now, on the other end is Kentucky, who just gave up a 17-point <laughs> lead in the loss to unranked Tennessee. How concerning is this loss for you? Well, it's not that they lost, it's how they lost. It's that they allowed Tennessee to shoot 67% in the last 10 minutes of the game. It's that they were literally had no, were not active, were not alert, did not were not connected defensively, and then offensively their shock selection was suspect. Think about this. I mean, the Kentucky guards have been dominant. There's no doubt about it. But 79% of their shots came from the perimeter people uh, against Tennessee. That just can't happen. In games that Nick Richards has taken 10 shots or more, Kentucky's undefeated. He's got to get more shots. And you look at Nick Richards and Ashton Hagens right now. These guys got into it a little bit. They were not connected. Ashton Hagens and Nick Richards basically tell them, throw me the basketball. I'll tell you what, Nick Richards, you need the ball. No doubt about it. Work harder to get the basketball. Hold your seals. Search for the basketball. Target away from the defense. This is a blip. This is what happens during the course of a season. It's a long season. We were talking about Kentucky as a team that could win a national championship a day ago. All right, they picked a bad day to have a bad day, but it's how they lost. All right, they've got to be more complete. Nick Richards has got to get more touches, but he's got to work harder to receive the basketball. And then defensively, they must be more consistent and more committed. They have been prior to that. Yesterday was an absolute total breakdown. Out of character, they'll learn from it. 
Nick Richards, you got to work harder. And Ashton Hagens, you got to do a better job of finding them. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+.